Adventure Week has started, taking us back to the prehistoric times. The bonuses we're going to be getting for this event is 2 times XP for spinning Pokestops, 5 times XP for spinning a Pokestop for the first time, and 2 times XP for hatching Pokemon. We also have increased shiny chances for the following. We got Graniados, Shieldon, Tortuga, Archon, Tyrant, and Amora. For the wild spawns, we got Diggly, Ammonite, Kabuto, Dunsparce, Ragnarola, Drillbur, Bunnelby, and Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is going to be a rare spawn, so good luck with that, with the 1 in 64 chance of it being shiny in the wild. And then for the special egg, will be the 7k eggs, which will feature Craniados, Shieldon, Tortuga, Archon, Tyrant, and Amora. And for the research, we got Dunsparce, Lalip, Anorith, Craniados, Shieldon, Ragnarola, Drillbird, Tortuga, Archon, Bunnelby, Tyrant, Amora, and Mega Aerodactyl Candy. Now, which Pokemon are worth hunting down? Let's go over it. First of all, Lalip. Yes, it's not actually that amazing when you think about it. It's not useful for raids, but it is used very much so for PvP. So Lilip evolves into Cradilly. Cradilly is currently ranked 97 in the Great League, which is absolutely amazing with the use of Bullet Sea, Rock Slide, and Grass Knot. Next up is Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl has a Mega, making it one of the best Rock type and Flying type raid attackers. Well, for PvP, it is pretty much non existent. Aerodactyl is not that great for PvP, don't recommend using it. But I do recommend using it for raids as a Mega, it's pretty good. Also, using its Mega helps you get extra candy for Rock and Flying types. So, definitely worth having. Then we got Shieldon. Shieldon evolves into Bastiodon, which is another amazing Pokemon, especially for the 1500s Great League. It is such an amazing Pokemon. Bastiodon is currently ranked number 8 in the Great League, so it's absolutely amazing with the moves Smackdown, Stone Edge, and Flamethrower. Definitely should have it on your team, absolutely amazing. And then we have Craniados. Craniados evolves into one of the best rock types ever in Pokemon. It is Rampardos. Rampardos is such a hard hitter, especially when it comes to rock types. I believe Shadow Rampardos takes the number one spot as rock type raid attacker not including megas rampados is very easy to get especially fully powered up so definitely worth getting and then aurora is the rock and ice type absolutely amazing typing in my opinion you don't see much of it aurora is currently ranked number 55 in the great league which is absolutely amazing and it is ranked 44 in the ultra league so definitely worth getting definitely worth hunting down and then there's also Ragnarola. Ragnarola is definitely worth getting as it's a very good rock type raid attacker. Drillbird, amazing for ground type raid attacking. And then Bunnelby is a decent ground type raid attacker as well as useful for the PvP. And then we got Caracosta, which is decent but not the best considering how many grass types are used in the 1500s. So I don't think it's worth using. Maybe for the 2500s, but definitely not for the 1500s in my opinion. And I think that's about it. So I hope you guys get all the shinies you guys are missing for your collection. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smack that like button and hit the subscribe button. And I catch you tomorrow with some raids. Goodbye.